Welcome to our spring development tutorial. Today we're tackling an important question that many developers encounter when working with JWT authentication. Our viewer is looking to understand how to make a filter throw a custom exception. Let's dive into the details of their implementation and explore the best practices for handling authentication errors effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To handle custom exceptions in your JBT authentication filter, we first need to modify the do filter method. This is where we will check for authentication failures. Next, we need to ensure that our custom exception is caught and handled properly. We can achieve this by using an exception handler. In this handler, we specify that when a custom authentication exception is thrown, it will return a response with a 409 status code and a custom message. Now, let's address the specific error cases you want to handle. For an empty authorization header, we can check the header value before proceeding with authentication. Finally, for a malformed token, you can catch the exception thrown during token parsing and throw your custom exception. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a custom exception filter in Spring, you can use the at controller advice annotation. This allows you to handle exceptions globally. In the example, various exceptions are handled, such as runtime exception and no handler found exception, returning appropriate HTTP status codes. You can also send custom error responses in a filter. In the do filter method, check authentication and send an error if it fails. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing issues with filters throwing exceptions in Spring, a user shared a helpful solution related to JDT tokens. They posted their findings on Stack Overflow, where they addressed similar problems with filter exceptions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle custom exceptions in a spring filter, you can auto-wire your repository in a lazy manner. This is useful when the spring container isn't ready to provide beans yet. In the filters do filter method, first cast the request to HTTP servlet request. Then, check if your repository is null. If it is, use the servlet context to get the web application context and retrieve your repository bean. This approach ensures that your repository is available when needed, even if the spring context isn't fully initialized at the time of the filter's execution.
And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.